Hi everyone. In this video we will be discussing a very fun problem on functional equation. And at the end of the video I would give you guys another very fun and challenging problem to work on it on this topic and do mention your solutions in the chat. Okay, so what are functional equations? So we know what functions are that take some value in x and then give some output and we know equations so just a combination of them. For example, we could have had a very basic function equation as of this form. This is one example of it. And we could have basically anything and the idea of the idea with which we solve such problems, one of them is that we plug in different values of x and y and try manipulating it and seeing what we get from that and eventually we get a solution. Okay, so let's just get into the problem. So this is a problem from an Indian TST, uh, which is the team selection test for the IMO. In this was a problem from 2019. And this is also a IMO shortlist problem. So it is quite hard and do take your time and pause the video here and try working it on your own. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. Okay, so hopefully you guys tried it on your own. So let's begin with the solution of this problem. So let's see what it actually means. So we have a set of positive rational numbers and the function is defined over it, which satisfies this equation. So like we discussed, the one idea of solving such problems is to plug in different values of X and Y. And in this case, we can try and eliminate the ugly looking left hand side into something simpler. So let's try and plug in these values for x and y and just one. So this basically just gives us one divided by f of one whole square. And here we have f of one whole square. So this is nothing but just one. So the left hand side in this case just becomes f of 1 and the right hand side becomes f of this thing times f of 1 and we have f of 1 and f of 1 on both sides and because we are working with positive rational numbers we can cancel them out and get this. So. What do we get from all of this is that this value is equal to one. And again, because we're working with positive numbers, we can replace all of this thing. And the thing we get is that we can remove the square as well and just get this is equal to one. Okay. So plugging this value gives us a very interesting result was that f of something this value is equal to one and we, we are going to use this so next let's try and plug in more value so we can try and plug in x and one divided by f of one and this is because we know that f of y in this case this is y would be nothing but just one so in the entire equation we can replace f of y by one so this gives us f of x square times 1 equal to f of x whole square times 1. So just remove this. So we get this pretty interesting statement as well. So we have two statements we concluded by plugging in different values. So we have this. And now let's try and use the second one and in the original one and Try and replace everything we got so far. So we have f of x 
square the left hand side becomes nothing but just we can take the square outside so f of x y whole square and the right hand side is say something like f of x whole square f of y so we see we have a lot of squares so this is a whole square of a rational number this is a whole square of a rational number and then we have just f of y so this statement this bit gives us that f of y must also be a square of a rational number because f of y is nothing but just f of x whole square divided by f of x whole square and both the right terms on the right are rational numbers so a rational number square so for all y f of y would be a square of a rational number so let's just remove all of this information we got and let's summarize this so we have f of y is a square of a rational for all y is and the equation we had was f of x f of y whole square is equal to f of x square f of y okay so because f of y was a square of rational we can write f of y is equal to let's say some f1 like a different function of y whole square and f1 would be from q positive rational to positive rational again and this is because f of y was a square of a rational number okay so let's remove everything from above and see what this information gives us so try if you try and plugging in this bit into the original or let's just say this equation let's name it as equation 1 so if you plug in this substitution into equation 1 we get so it becomes let's say f of 1 x f of one y square and we have power of a four here so two whole to square and square and the right hand side becomes f of 1 of x to the power of 4 and f of 1 y to the power of whole square and this is nothing but x f of 1 whole square f of 1 x whole square is equal to f of f1 of y and this is true because we are again working only with positive rational numbers and this means that even f1 of y is a square of a rational number so we see a trend of what's happening so we had f of y is a square of a rational number and if we define something as we define f of 1 y as the square root of f of y and even that is a square of a rational number right so we can keep doing this this idea and 
we can continue doing f of uh, f1 of y f2 of y and so on so this would mean that f of y to the power 1 over 2 to the power n so keep taking a square root square root square root and that is again a square of rational so the only possibility for f of y is 1 so the only way this can ever be true that is f of y equal to 1 because if it was anything else after taking a square root for as long as we wanted it cannot still remain a rational number so this means that the only possible value for f of y was f of y equal to 1 and at the end of solving a function equation we need to always try and plug it in in the original problem and see if it works and it actually indeed works so because left hand side just becomes equal to 1 and, and even the right hand side becomes 1 so the only solution has to be f of 1 equal to 1 okay so that was the problem and if you have any questions about this problem to mention it in the chat and okay and time for the challenge problem which is again going to be very hard this problem again from the TSTs of the same year so try this out and if you solve it to mention it in the chat and if you like the problem and want to learn more keep following chinta.com Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chitta.com.